Hi, it's Alana from Baco Art. Uh, just a quick 30 seconds to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Um, I hit a milestone the other day of 100 subscribers. I know it's only small potatoes at the moment, but you know, we all start somewhere and I'm not sure what I'll be at at the moment um, by the time I upload this because I do film a little bit in advance, but really excited. Thank you to everybody. If you haven't subscribed and you're interested in what I do, then hit that subscribe button. Another quick milestone, I had one of my videos hit 500 views for the first time, so really excited. So thank you to everybody for the support and uh, I'll try and keep these videos coming. All right, so straight into it tonight, I am doing a Dutch pour, a flower of sorts. So I did see somebody post something um, on one of my painting pages. I, I, to be honest, I apologise and I didn't take note of who it was. Uh, but they had commented that they had gotten their inspiration from um, Canela. So I did go and watch um, the Canela video. And so it's where you pour in the middle and then make kind of like a flower. So you have the white center. So I've already put paint on this. So this has got my white base on it. Um, actually, what I didn't do was... Um, so yeah I've already got the white base now what this white base is is white house paint with Australian float troll at a ratio of two to one so two float troll to one paint now I only just mix this paint up and Look, I mean, I only just poured it on it already. There's little specks of dust everywhere. So anyway, we'll see what ends up showing up on the white after and I'll do a good, a good thorough sort of clean up. So just for everybody, tweezers are really handy. You know, you can just go and you just pick up all the, the little bits. Okay, now just another tip. So I will be using the mini blower again. So the mini blower, when you get it, sorry, I uh, has just that attachment, the USB attachment. I have a frozen shoulder, so this arm I can't really <laughs> reach too far. So this one is all you get, okay? I have been using one of these, which is just the attachment that I use for my iPhone and plugging it in to the yeah, extension cord. Now I've got one of these power banks so which it fits into and you know you can so for those people that have I've seen comments that they're far away from a power supply when they're painting or they're outside or something like that just charge up one of those power banks and you know you're ready to go I'm going to try it with that tonight just see if it uh, how it goes I've got my extension cord waiting there just in case all right so let's paint I am trying that flower now I'm trying this for my sister for Christmas my mother has been hassling me since I started this a couple of months ago to do something for her she loves pink and you know we want to do like a pink flower so I'll list the colors in the description as well I'll tell you them as I go so let's go I'm just not sure how big to do the circle I don't want too big of a white on the canal one I did see that she had quite a big I'm going to try and do it a bit smaller so that it's more just like the you know the middle of the flower size so okay Let's go. Now this one, I got some new paints the other day, the Eraldo Di Paolo from Riot. I ended up buying um, metallics. This is called a metallic rose. So, okay, I just want to try and center it. So excuse me if my head gets in the way for a second. I'm gonna try and do it about here. it's pretty centered okay so yeah that was the metallic rose by Eraldo haven't tried these metallics yet I haven't tried any of their metallics I've used some of their normal paints but not metallics this one is called rose uh, it's actually just a color from a cheap one from Bunnings if anybody 
in Australia. Get your paint from Bunnings. This one is again a cheap one from Bunnings. They're called Crafty Color. They're like two dollars a tube. And this one is actually one of my favorite colors. It's an English rose, it's called. This is magenta. I'm not sure what brand this one is, but it's safe to say I don't have any sort of expensive paints. They're all just average paints that you can get from your discount stores or Bunnings or Riot or I do have a couple from Spotlight, they're just on you though, they're a lot more expensive. I haven't actually used them yet. Okay, so this is another metallic from Riot and it's metallic blush. As you can see, my sister likes pink, so we're going with the pink theme. Now if it doesn't work, I'm gonna scrape it and save the paint and try again. Uh, this one I'm just going to add in, it's called a carnation pink. It's again one of the crafty colours from Bunnings. I won't add too much of that one. And I'm going to go with metallic gold. I don't think she likes gold too much, but I think it needs... I think it needs it. Oh. I don't want that bit in the middle because I want the, the middle to be white. Probably wouldn't make too much of a difference if I left it there, but okay. So now what I will do not quite sure if that's enough paint. I might just do. I don't think I want any more metallic. There's quite a bit of metallic there. I was humming and ahhing about whether to put this one in. I'm just going to put a few drops around. It's um, purple red. And I might just put drops of white okay now I'm going to just put it I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to blow the colors over too much but I'm gonna put a bit of white in the middle and I'm going to put some around there so it's got somewhere to flow okay so the idea is to kind of blow the petals out. All right, yeah. So. Let's go. Just watch it cool. You know, I'm trying to tell me that it's low. Yeah. Just watch your cord on this. Yeah. Uh, extend them a little bit more. Hmm. What if I put like a gold center? Let's try it. Mix it around maybe with, with another color. What color? What color? Maybe the metallic rose. What if I just don't know if I like. 
I just don't know if I want like a plain white. So I think I need a bit more colour here. And I'll probably put maybe a little bit of this one. I'm going to have a little bit more to play with it and I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here it is. I hate that ring light. I cannot get rid of it. Sorry. I'm not too sure if I like it. Um, I'm thinking that there's maybe not enough definition in the petals. See here. It looks a little bit darker when I'm looking at it on the the screen, but maybe if it had like a darker, see how it kind of just like fades out into nothing really. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's what I ended up doing with the middle, just sort of swirling around some metallic. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to have to see if it grows on me um yeah anyway all right i'll see you when it's dry <laughs> 